Let's take a look at problem two from your review sheet. Here we have to apply another property of exponents. In this case, it's the property of exponents that's called the quotient to a power. What do we do with a quotient? Remember, quotient's a division. Or the other way to think about it, what do you do to a fraction when you raise the fraction to a power? Well, what you have to do is you have to raise both the numerator and the denominator to that power. So I have to raise 4x to the third to the third power and 5y to the fifth to the third power. Well, this is now a product that has to be raised to that power. So I have to raise each factor. So 4 to the third, that's 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64. x to the third to the third, raising a power to a power, we multiply the exponents. So that's x to the ninth over 5 has to be raised to the third power. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. y to the y to the fifth being raised to the third power. Power to a power we multiply. That's y to the 15. 64 over 125, I know I can't reduce because I can't reduce 4 fifths. And raising those to a power isn't going to produce a number that I could reduce if I couldn't reduce back here. So there is that quotient raised to the third power. I had to raise both the numerator and the denominator of this fraction to that power, which involved raising each of the factors to that power.